Marcus Naslin with Morris, and he shoots, he scores! Naslin moving in against Bergeron. Here is Naslin, quick the backhand, scores! Uh, what did you think when Mike Gillis called you to tell you that your number would be retired? I was surprised and uh, very excited. There's only Stan's number 12 and Trevor's number 16 that's up there and, and to join those two is uh, quite humbling. Being back here and, and probably having this night as the most memorable night of my career uh, will definitely give a lot of closure. Naslin moves in. Naslin tried to center, got it back himself. Score! Let's go back then to uh, March of 96. Things hadn't worked out for you in Pittsburgh, so you ask for a trade. They accommodate you. Pat Quinn's able to trade for a Swedish player looking for a new start. What were your expectations when you came to Vancouver? To have fun, first of all. To I, I, uh, I was struggling and, and I, I've lost my confidence, so I, I wanted to to get back to playing the game that I thought I could be successful with here. Even after getting traded to Vancouver, it took me a few years to figure it out and uh, to know what to do to be successful. Leaves it at the blue line, there's the shot, for can say three, Naslin scores! At the start of the 97-98 season, Mike Keenan benched you, you weren't in the lineup, so again, frustrated, you asked for a trade. How often during the course of your career here did you think back to how lucky you were that the Canucks denied that request? Yeah, I'm very thankful to Brian Burke, who, who wouldn't let that happen. He saw something in me, and, and he thought that I could uh, contribute to, to this team, and I was very fortunate to, to have a chance to play here for so long. Well, here it is. Oh, what a neat move by Nazmo. So Marcus, the easiest question will be asked all week. When you come to Vancouver, do you feel like you're home? Yeah, I always will because it's, uh, it's where my, all three of my kids are born. It's a city where I spent 12 most fun years of my life. On the topic of your kids being born here, people have searched for answers as to why things took off for you in Vancouver and you became such an elite player. But uh, you've been quoted as saying it's pretty simple. It's so when my first daughter was born, it changed everything for me. Yeah, that's uh, that's a big reason for it because I, I, up to that point, I was putting way too much pressure on myself. I was thinking about hockey constantly, and and I think uh, when Rebecca was born, I started to relax, and then uh, I started to feel more and more confident. Here's Morrison in front. Naslin scores. Bertuzzi to Naslin in. Marcus Naslin scores. For at least. Three years, the West Coast Express, you, Todd Bertuzzi, and Brendan Morrison was the best line in hockey. What made it work? The big thing for us was our friendship. We enjoyed hanging out on the ice and, and even off the ice. We, we did a lot of things together and, and we grew very close. Crawford says that Brendan Morrison is the guy who deserves a medal from that line because he had both you and Bertuzzi haranguing him constantly for the puck. Yeah, he, he took... Yeah, it was it was a natural. Todd would always sit at the end of the bench, and I would sit next to him, and then Brendan. And I knew that every time we came to the bench, Todd would look down and, and stare him down. And, and good thing Brendan had thick skin and, and could joke about it. Need I ask you what your greatest regret about your years in Vancouver is? No, I felt strongly that we had a shot at winning and we talked about it as a group and we had that as a goal and uh, for one reason or another it didn't pan out that way and it's unfortunate because I thought we had uh, great teams. Well clearly you're not going to know how you feel when you see your sweater raised to the rafters here until it actually happens but I'm sure you thought about it so can you give us a preview? No, I, I think just standing there and, and watching it go up, it's, uh, I probably have to, to bite my, my lip pretty hard not to uh, shed a tear. And um, there will be a, probably a lot of flashbacks and memories going through my head. Uh, all the times I've spent here with this great organization and, and the fans that's been supportive of me since day one here. So I'm, uh, yeah, it, it's going to be a special night.